Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the U4 mannequin with another character that is also rigged to the U4 mannequin, how to set it up so that you can switch between these two meshes, and how to set it up so that you can quickly import animations from the marketplace to work with this new imported character. First, you want to find a character that is rigged to the U4 mannequin, so I have this gothic knight, and if you scroll down, under details you can normally see, and you can see that it's rigged to the epic skeleton. So once you've found a model like this, you just want to add it to your project. So I'm going to add it to my one of my Unreal Engine projects. So if we open up Unreal Engine and go to the folders, we can see that it's imported our night model. So you're just going to go over to your model folder, go to the meshes folder, and you want to select any mesh. So I'm going to select Gothic Knight VB. You want to right click on this, select Skellington, and assign Skellington, and you want to assign it to the U4 mannequin. Because when it imports, it imports with its own skeleton, which won't be compatible with the U4 mannequin one. So you just want to reassign it to this one, and we'll be able to get all animations and things. So to set it up, if we go to our third person character blueprint, and just open it up, we want to head over to the viewport. And under Skeletal Mesh, we can now select Gothic Knight VB, and it will work. But for example, if we select another Skeletal Mesh, it won't work, because we've not assigned it Skellington to be the U4 mannequin one. So now that we've got that set up, I'm going to show you how to quickly change mesh in game. So if we right click, we want to look for the M key. And when I press the M key, I'm going to make it so it switches between this mesh and our default U4 mannequin mesh. So I'm dragging my mesh and then I'm going to look, drag off it and look for set skeletal mesh. And I'm just drag from pressed and make a flip flop. So First, when I press this, I'm going to make it change to our U4 mannequin. So under new mesh, we want to select skeletal mesh mannequin. So that's just our default one. And I'm just going to, whoops, just select everything and control C and control V. And when we press it again, I'm going to make it be our knight. So I'm just going to select the knight VB model as I made that one compatible. So now if I click on par and close this and now click play. I'm the knight, when I press M, I switch, and now we've set up this knight model which works with our U4 mannequin. So now we're going to import some animations for our character. So I'm using France Fighting Set 2, this is free. And if we scroll down, we can see that these animations are rigged to the U4 skeleton. So they will work and be compatible with our character. So we want to click Add to Project. I'm going to add it to my project with my knight model. So now that I've imported it, if I go to Frank's Fighting Set 2, I go to the Animations folder and just click on them. If I try and replace it with our Knight model or our default U4 mannequin, there's not an option to do that. So I'm going to show you how to quickly do this. So if we head over to the Skeletal Mesh tab and select the Skeleton, we just want to click Delete. And all these animations are referenced to that Skeleton. So we want to select Replace and select the U4 mannequin and click Replace References. And click OK. So now all our animations will work with our knight and our U4 mannequin. So now if we go back to the animations folder, they're now working with our default U4 mannequin. And if we can select the knight model, it also works with him. So now we've just set up some animations. As I used to like export all these animations and then re import them, so it's just a much quicker way of doing that process. So that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.